What's going on, Bruce? Ladies and gentlemen, this week I have an absolute banger for you. This this week's is so much better than last week. Last week all we did was talk about Scarlet and Violet cards and a Kieran pump. A silly Kieran pump. So boring. This week we got tons of diversity. We got a giveaway. We got quality of life improvements. We got a, a buyout of a Scarlet and Violet era hyper rare that I caught while doing my research on this. We got Eevees. We have an Eevee ripple effect occurring where a bunch of random Eevee cards just start going up in price right around the same time the Twilight Masquerade one did. So we'll cover that. We got a very unusual buyout, some interesting Eevees moving in price. We got the typical Scarlet and Violet era cards, but we also have Sun and Moon cards. That's right, baby. It's part of these quality and life improvements I'm about to get in in just a sec. We are going to start doing a way better job of covering the Sun and Moon era because that era is freaking awesome. And to be honest, I like that era way more than Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield's got the alt arts and some decent trainer galleries. The Sun and Moon era was a fantastic, fantastic era of artworks, such as Scarlet and Violet era. Okay, but real quick, the first 10 people to name the guy's autograph that you saw in the intro of this video, 10 people, that's a 10% chance. The first 10 people to write that guy's name. He's a content creator, Pokemon content creator. You write his name in the comment section, you will all 10 be entered to win a Clayburst, Clayburst T-Tar Slap. So long story short, I found a little stack of these raw guys in my closet. I'm not kidding. So I don't need this. I can give this away. It's fine. One of you can have this. So again, just write in the comments. You don't need to like, comment, subscribe. You just write in the comments section the dude's name and boom, you're automatically entered to the giveaway. All right, look, guys, quality of life improvements for these weekly raw Pokemon card update videos. I'm trying to always make this as, as, as good as I can for you. And one thing that I have been doing that I didn't even tell you about is the goods tab. Anytime you want Mimic Brew to shut the hell up and get to the reason that you made the video, bro, all you gotta do is look at your TV, say shut up, or your phone, and then hit that, the goods tab, take you right to, all right, let's get to it, and the cards, okay? So that's there for you. Last week's gainers, at the beginning of every single one of these videos, I am gonna throw up last week's gainers, and I'm gonna show you how they've done since then. Red means they've gone down considerably. White means they've barely moved at all. Green obviously means they've continued to increase in price. Best price banger at the end of every video, guys. I try to find one really cool, desirable card that just so happens to, for whatever reason, be cheaper than ever. And I try to let you guys know about that every week. Last week was Iono, the SIR from Paldea Evolved. Okay, that card is under $70 now. If you have been holding, just waiting, and just, I don't want to pay 100 I don't want to pay 80 I don't want to pay that. Well, now is a good time to probably scoop up Iono. Stick to the end of the video to hear this week's best price banger. And yeah, and then again, so we're going to do way more sun and moon on this channel. So you got the goods tab, you got last week's gainers, you got best price banger at the end and then more i'm just going to do a better job with sun and moon in general so there's the updates everything i just did you could have skipped all of that and already been watching the cards part the reason you clicked if you hit the goods tab i'm just saying all right so anyway again if you want to be in that contest just write write the guy's name and all right are you guys ready i feel like now is a good time to get the ball rolling let's get to it all right, so we're gonna start off with Sun and Moon cards since I literally just said I'm gonna do a better job about Sun and Moon cards. So, one of the coolest Sun and Moon promos, I dare say, you know, that's ever been out there, and it's got it's got Umbreon on it, so it's automatically S tier, right? Umbreon and Darkrai GX promo SM241. So, we got $39.20. That's on the one month up from about $34.50. I'm gonna show you guys the one year because it goes up and down. So we had a one year high back in July of last year of 42, and then all the way at the beginning of this of the year, this card dipped down to $27.10. Now look at from the beginning of this year onwards. Look at the strength, okay? And we're gonna actually look at some sales too. So there's your six month, here's your three month, little spike at 37, and then absolutely surpassed, and we are at an all new. We're all, well, we're not at a one year high yet. We got to crack 40, 44 essentially. 
But on the one month, this card doing very well. On the three month, this card at, at a three month high. And on the six month, it is at a six month high. All right, let's get to the next. Sun and Moon, banger. Armored Mewtwo, here's a very unique looking card. Uh, you know, it, it's just, there's not really any other cards that look like this. It almost looks like a Crown Zenith Galarian Gallery card, the way it has the purple and then the yellow border on it, I just realized. But yeah, so very cool promo full art, Armored Mewtwo. This card is now $76.75, so let's check this out real quick. It has a very similar path as, well actually, no it doesn't. Holy crap, it's gradual on the year, and then big time, woo! So what you see here, let's go to the three month, I wanna go three month. So it was right around, so it looks like the middle of May that this card really had a significant price hike. So and this is on the three month, and we went from on the three month, 52 bucks, up to about 76. So Armored Mewtwo, just overall on the one year, and especially on the six month, or I should say the three month, yeah, literally the three month. About three months ago is when this card really started making a, a march on north see that look at that that's that's good all right let's go to another one magikarp and wellard and this is the promo not the full art okay because there is another magikarp and wellard an actual full art so the promo from this box magikarp and wellard box look at this so this is already on the one year you see again this is the one that was following like the umbreon so basically all year since the beginning of the year absolutely uptick Go to six months, so January, you see 14, and then straight uptick. You see it hit here, and then you see, and then here. So let's go ahead and, uh, what we really are looking for for this card is if it cracks over 30, because if it cracks over 30, that's a one year high. But as you can see, this, this card has had a very good year so far. Absolutely. All right, let's go to one more. Sun and Moon, Reshiram, and Zar, GX, SM201. So here you go, 3737. I'm gonna pull up the one year again. So one year in March, this card dipped all the way down to $30. So since March, it has been straight uphill. Right there. So on the one month, we were down as low as $36. And now we're up to $37. But more importantly, this card just looks great and showing nothing but strength since March. All right, so now I wanna get into a very unusual, it's unusual because it's a hyper rare. So this Walking Wake EX from Temporal Forces, I mean, it is, as far as the uh, hyper rares from Temporal Forces, I would dare say it is definitely the best, but look at this. So this card, just in the last 10 or so days, has gone from 1250 all the way up to $16, okay? hyper rare from temporal forces now look over here okay 722 29 dollars and 98 cents you could be like oh maybe that's just skewing it okay that's just messing up the graph well check this out guys look at this 29 dollars and 98 cents was that yesterday no it's today and then normal market value market value market value market value and then look two days ago 30 dollars and then look, market value, market value, and then look, $24, $20, and then right back to market value, market value, market value, maybe a little more, market value, market value, market, and then boom, $30, and then right back to market value, market value. This keeps going. Market value, market value. Now we're, what, seven days ago, a week ago? $30. And then look, well, that one's up. That probably is the same guy. Uh, market value, market value, market value, market value guys twenty dollars so basically what you're seeing in here is a bunch of unnecessarily high purchases and when you see something like this groups of weight this is this card is selling for more than double it's getting gobbled up here for more than double it's going to gobble up here for more than double. It's going to gobble up here for double. Here for basically double. Here for double. More than double. Here again. As you can see, does that look normal to you? Not at all. Okay? Look at all this market value sales. And then 30 and 30 and 25 and 20 and 30 and 20 and 30 and 30. So... 
I believe that is what you call market manipulation. Uh, in general, people don't spend $30 for hyper rares that are only worth $12, okay? And you could see this effort started about 10 days ago where someone or some group of people out there started buying up this card for $20, $25, and $30. Now, in order to do that, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you could get this done. This could be a round robin of seller, sellers who are all together working together to pump and buy out this card. You list it for that much, I buy it. I, I'll list it for this much, you buy it. Bounce back and forth and then gobble up all the cheaper cards in between. I'm just saying, walking wake EX, the, this does not add up on the latest sales. This is glaring. This is how you know something is going on. That is not typical, that is not usual, and this is not a card that people are talking about that's being glorified. This genuinely, to me, looks like a, a backdoor secret buyout. Hopefully no one will notice, okay? And yeah, I don't, we don't like this. Okay, so now let's talk about the EV effect. This very, just kind of unusual thing I saw with EV. There's a handful of EVs that have just all of a sudden kind of one up more or less right around the same time the Twilight Masquerade one. So this happened with Moonbrion, where the Moonbrion went up and then you saw a bunch of Umbreon cards kind of follow. You know, people trying to, to make money off other similar, even though not similar cards. So first of all, we'll start out small and we'll work our way up between these EV cards. So EV Trainer Gallery, Brilliant Stars. So if you look on the three month, it's up from $2 and it's up, you know, to 333. It's actually, from a percentage wise, that's actually a pretty big increase. But if you look here, so June, so about April, May, you see this. And if you look on the year, this card was literally less under $2, and now it's up to $332. But on the three month, you can see it's just up from two to three. So it's up like 33%, okay? That's the first one. Here's the next EV. My favorite EV card of all freaking time. This card basically helped me get back into the hobby back in 2019. But yeah, the derpiest, most beautiful EV card ever. So look at this. Right around the time the Twilight Masquerade EV goes up. Hmm. We go from $16 up to $19. So let's look at that. Wow. What's up with that? Hmm. Right around there, huh? So I don't know. I'm just saying. You see this here. And then, whoop. Right around the same time as EV. Now let's look at another EV. God, I love this card so much. Yunagaba EV. So Yunagaba EV. Hmm. Right around the same time. Hmm. Whoop. Hmm. Oh, weird. It's almost like that chart looks a lot like that chart. Whoa. What's going? Whoa. Is that the same chart? What's going on there? Look at that, guys. Hmm. You see, you spend several hours you know, doing the research, you notice these things. <laughs> so yeah, Eevee, Eevee, and then here's another one, because we're not done. Little baby shiny Eevee from Hidden Fates, okay? This card's doing amazing. Oh, look at that, ooh, very, very similar, hmm? This card is actually, so this card, let's do the one year real quick. $19, okay, and then that was all the way back, that was a year ago. We hit a low of $14.21, and then again, since basically that low, Look at this. But again, that right there, same time, this card was struggling to hold, struggling to hold. If you look at the one year, it was like, all right, and then it failed here and it started to fall down. And then what do you know, around that same time, boom. So for whatever reason, people are trying to make maybe make some more money off of easy, easy, easy money off of Eevee. Uh, you know, maybe because it's popular, because of Twilight Masquerade, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, so all three of these EVs have actually increased in value quite a lot over the last month. I really like the Unagaba one. I think this Unagaba EV is actually a pretty cool buy. It would be a cool buy. All right, so now we're done with the EV. We're done with the weird uh, Hyper Rare pump. And now let's get into the rest of the cards on the list. And then we'll get into the best buy. A banger. All right, so here we go. So Drowsy. Drowsy from Scarlet and Violet base set. This card is, so first of all, it's at 919. There you go. So this card is at a one year all time high by far. So this card, when Scarlet and Violet came out, I remember because I, I pulled it rather immediately and I was like, dude, Kamiya, 
This card, Drowsy, I freak. This might be my favorite card from base set. And it always blew my mind that it was just taking. This card was just doing so bad for so long. But now, finally, this this Komiya artwork, this beautiful, beautiful freaking Drowsy. Oh my god, it's, it's, you know, coming up to double digits. Finally. All right, let's move on to Skeledurge. So this card I actually featured on my top 10 favorite special illustration rares from a few months ago. I think it was like card number six or seven. I really love Skeledurge. But look at that. Look at that three month. So I think Skeledurge might have actually been um, like two or three or maybe a month ago. He was on the list when he first started going up. But he wasn't on the list last week. But he is definitely on the list again this week because of that chart and that strength. Okay, look at that. It's just been smooth sailing almost all year. I was going to say, yeah, I know. Yeah, basically right at the beginning of the year. So I was going to say, I know he went down. And then, yeah, here he is going back up. You can look at some sold real quick. We got 14, 15. I see a 20 there, a 16, a 17, a 20, 20. Yeah, I mean, it looks fine. Nothing crazy going on there. But yeah, Skeleturge is the best card. I love it. All right, moving on. So this card, obviously, I think we could all assume that it had been undervalued just because of the Perrin connection. Um, yeah, because, like, I don't know. I just I thought this card was going to automatically be, like, a $12 or $13 card right out the gate. But you see $750 is 7 and then you see a nice little spike to 11 But overall, what you see is higher lows over here on Growlithe. And if you look at this, so when I look at this chart, you know, I just see higher lows. And I see a popular Pokemon in a unique scenario with Perrin. And I think this card, you know, we're talking, I think, maybe $10 or $12, $13. I don't think, I, you know, maybe, who knows? Now I say that, it's going to go up to 20 right? Who knows? But if this, if this Growlithe does take off a little bit, I don't think anyone will be shocked. Here's another card that I've mentioned in a previous video. I had, a, like, top 10 uh, cards under $10 a few months ago. And this one, I was like, this one's got to be $10. It took forever to get to $10, though. So you look at the one month. So right here, actually let's zoom out just a little. So it's at $10.37. What am I doing? This is the one, okay. This, sorry. So basically this is a higher low scenario where it's just consistently setting higher lows and just gradually going up slowly but surely. So higher low, higher low, higher low. Uh, but yeah, it's been very, very kind of slowly but steadily working its way up to $10. And it's Entei, okay? It's Entei. Is anyone surprised? You know, Snorlax is $12, $13. Why can't Entei be $12, $13? Maybe Q was $11 forever. Freaking, I was going to say like Natu and Pidgey, but those were, you know, player, player related. Okay, so the next card is the last card. And this card, Lana's Aid. So this, in last week's video, I actually brought up to use kind of as a teaching example for, you know, weighing uh, what's the floor versus the ceiling if I get into a, a card at this current market price. Like, what's the lowest it'll go down versus what's the highest it could potentially go up? And I told you guys that I thought that both Sinestia at $20 to $23 and that Lana at about $30 to $33 are probably pretty safe buys because if any of the Twilight Masquerade SIRs are going to tank and go down to $10 or $12, it's those three masks that aren't the teal mask, right? Sinestia and Lana just got forgotten about with Perrin and Carmine and everybody and Greninja, okay? So... I, I do think Lana was a good buy at 33, and it looks like Lana is, I don't know if Lana heard me, and now Lana's like, nope. But yeah, um, I, I still think $35 is a great buy for Lana. I think this is a great card. I pulled this card. I love this card. Um, $35 from a, uh, for an SIR that's fairly decent um, from a set that has an increased SIR pull rates. I think that's great, especially when you consider Greninja's $250. You got a waifu that's over $100. You got another one that's like $80. You know, you got you got Blood Moon or something at $50. Like, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's more people that like this card than they like Blood Moon or Saluna, to be honest. And, you know, Blood Moon or Saluna is $20 more. So anyway, Lana's doing good. And I, I like to see Lana doing good. Makes me happy. We like Lana. All right. And now for this week's best price banger. Again, last week's was Iono, and this week's is from Celebrations, and if you watched my last video, 
25 cards for $25 that I released this weekend. You already know what this is because I was so caught off guard when I was filming and I was like, what the heck? This card's not, this card's supposed to be $30, $35. This card has been $30, $35 forever, like the last year and a half. But guess what, guys? Mew from Celebrations Seeker Rare. Look at this chart. This card is under, not, this card is under $19, let alone under $20. Look at that. Fall off the face of the earth right there, okay? So, this is absolutely the time to buy Mew, buy two, buy three, buy, buy, buy Mew, you, me, you, buy us all Mews, please. Let's get some Mews while they're 20 bucks. I love this card. I got it right up there. I'm not going to reach it. I'm too lazy. All right, guys. So, all right. So, that's all I got for you guys this week. Again, this week was just about some smaller, you know, uh, announcements for you. Just what to expect moving forward. That you got the goods tab. You got last week's gainers. That'll always be shown. You got the best price banger. And then, yeah, I'm going to try to cover all three of the most recent eras. And, yeah, just a reminder, the whole point of my existence and why I'm here is because I am a master setter, a binder collector, and I like to make content that represents what I'm currently doing in the Pokemon TCG hobby, and that is raw cards. Every day I am out buying raw cards. I only need four more... Twilight Masquerade SIRs and three more Temporal Force SIRs and I will own every single regular set card that's been come out since Crown Zenith and doing that in person requires diligently paying attention to prices and getting these cards at the best deal you possibly can or you won't have enough money for the next card you need on your list okay that is why I do this that is why I love doing these videos and that is why I will absolutely continue doing these videos and until next week or my next video like comment subscribe and before I say deuces remember to write that guy's name in the comment section if you want a chance to win that clay burst t-tar all right deuces